I know YouTube again. You can't see me. There we go. Well, it's time to change that damn heater core. Bad as I hate to. It's gotta be done. Part number, CarQuest part number, 94607. Direct replacement. Look, it's not a little like all the rest of them are these days. It's still old brass and copper. Blow my mind and open that box up. Yeah, 87S10. Here we go. I've done got it mostly tore apart. I wanted to make sure it's going to be easily done before I started filming. The only thing I've had to do so far is yank that tar that inner fender just to get to the radiator hoses where this thing's a V8. Where this thing's a V8, you know, tight squeeze. Heater hoses connect down there. Got the antifreeze dripping into a coffee can. And there's why you gotta change your heater core. It leak all your water out. Antifreeze, whatever. I don't gotta get tore all the crap. If you're wondering where they go, they go under there. Pretty snazzy. They run sideways and the blower fan blows air through it. Then there's a bypass over here if you want cold air to come through, which this truck does not have air conditioning. It did not come out of the factory with air conditioning. That's why it's a little easier. It just had this big nice cover it snapped over this and had screws around. You can see right there where it was busted, where it's leaking. And there's one advantage to having a sunroof. You can run your ratchet strap through it to tie your dash up out of the way. But anyway, the only thing I like is have a screw here, one here, one here, and one here, and these little metal bands comes off. Then the heater core just comes right out. Put your new one in, put it back together, you're good to go. But I got him tore all to pieces. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I've had to dash out of this truck before if you watch the cab removal and replacement. Probably should have put a new heater core in it then, but I didn't think this one was leaking, but you know what? It's a 1987. It's older than dirt. It's going, stuff's going to happen. I just noticed something. See where them outlets are on that? I'm hoping that them's the same on this one over here. For some reason or other, I don't think they are. Oh, they're the same. Whew, scared me. Anyway, I'm going to get this thing yanked out, and I'll show you what I got when I get it out. All right, there's the old one. Got all kinds of crap in it. I guess it fell down through the vent. You can't hardly see where it leaked on this side. You can't even turn it up. See, antifreeze has its own stop leak built in. If you got just a small leak, the antifreeze will actually stop it up. Looks like it's done that in several times. It's I, I can see it with my eye, but the camera's not picking it up right through here. Down this way is green. I don't know why they ain't picking it up. Anyway, out with the old, in with the new. Make sure it's the same length. It is. The outlet's come out in the same spot, roughly. Close enough. And now we got us a copper heater cork of junk. Yay! I love junking. And a stereo. Yeah, let's not get into that today. Anyway, those two little bands, they just sit right there. All the way across that. And on right there. Could be fun to get lined back up. You just hope their shorter joints is good at the factory. And them look pretty good. I had one of them for my 71 Chevy. And I went to put it in. Went to slide the hose on here. And I got it on, tightened it up. Put the hose on here, put it on. By the time I got it tightened up, it broke off. So after I done away with the heater, I said, fully on that. 
I ain't buying another one. But anyway, we'll get her put back in and I'll show you what we got. All right, she's in. Them little band was fun. The only thing I gotta do is take this cover, put that seal back around it, slap that sucker up there, bolt it in. I'm getting a phone call, wait just a minute. All right, I'm back, finally. Anyway, I got this seal over about where it goes. It ain't no big deal. I mean, if it leaks heat out, what's it gonna do, lick it under the dash? I mean, seriously. Kills the pressure up to the defroster or something like that. But there's the cover on. And if you ever out, I highly recommend these lights right here. They're bright. What it is? It's a a work bright Benebo. It's got flashlight in the top, and it's got an LED flashlight there. And they're both LED. That's a six bulb. Mine's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. And the 20 bulb. It's very bright. It's got a stand. It just unfolds. And the stand's magnetic. So you can put it about anywhere and work. Plus it's got a hook up here you can hang it. You just unsnap that hook. It folds up and you just hang it wherever you want to hang it. I normally just set him something like that. Turn it on. And I've got all kinds of light in here. It beats having to deal with a drop cord or a rechargeable light that never stays charged. This thing here, throw four AA batteries in it and it'll last forever. Anyway, we're going to throw some screws in this here. I figured you'd watch me do that, at least. Don't really want to film putting that inner fender on because it's a pain. Old rusty truck, you know. Oh, that ain't it. Where did that line 30 seconds socket go? It's here somewhere. I thought. Hmm. Can't find my tools. I hate that. It's five sixteenths. That's a quarter. It's not in the set. Wow, well, did I eat it? Anyway, evidently I'm gonna search for a lost socket. Maybe it'll turn up in a minute. That don't want to start. I'm going to find my socket. That bugs me. It really does. That might not even been the right screw for that hole. Well, I know I haven't taken that out of here. There we go. I just want to start it in that. Number five down here. Number six down here. Right there. Now I just gotta tighten them up. Get right back away here in just a minute. As you can see, dome lights on. So that must mean it's fixed, right? Radio's all back in it. I ain't like my glove compartment latch. Ain't that cool? Look at that. Just look at that. Stick it back in there like that there in these days. Anyway. I ain't started it yet to see if it's going to circulate or not. But it's done. I don't care. It's back together. I can drive it. Got the inner fender back in. Wouldn't bad at all. Filled it back up with antifreeze and noticed I had a leak right there on that gooseneck, so I had to reseal that. Some good old red high temp Primatex gasket maker. 
and I think I got a hole in the radiator, but I ain't leaking yet. I'm gonna leave it in here tonight and half a day tomorrow and see what happens. But anyway, for now that project is doing finito. That piece can go to scrap land down there. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.